My Year is Miss Taunton 2010 is one that can be compared to a roller coaster ride. The rails of this ride, represented by the 80 plus appearances, six parades, 19 national anthems, one tube of buck glue, three new pairs of size five and a half competition high heels, and 11 supportive committee members, just to name a few. And as I started to climb that first big hill on November 21st, 2009, I knew there was no looking back. This next year was going to be one that would change my life forever. The amazing people I have met, the countless organizations I have volunteered with, and the memorable experiences I have had all could not have been possible without the support of the many individuals who made my year unforgettable. First and foremost, I want to thank my wonderful sponsors. Bob Bartlett of Bob Bartlett Photography. Thank you so much for sharing your time and talent, capturing the perfect picture for the Miss Massachusetts and Miss Taunton program books. Donna Fitzgerald, thank you for inviting me into your salon and volunteering your time to make sure my hair and makeup was perfect for the Taunton Christmas Parade and my professional photo shoot. Also, thank you for letting me borrow your beautiful mink coat during the Christmas parade. It fit like a glove. Don Rizzo of DRE Designs. Thank you for letting me borrow your beautiful jewelry throughout my year as Miss Taunton. Whether it was a pair of colorful earrings to match my talent costume perfectly, elegant appearance earrings, or breathtaking evening wear earrings, I always knew your jewelry would make me sparkle. Stephanie Cullen of Capella Hair Design, where do I start? Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to make sure my hair and makeup was always perfect for all my appearances. The Miss Massachusetts Board, thank you for your continual guidance and support as I vied for the title of Miss Massachusetts. Your hard work and tireless efforts for this amazing organization do not go unnoticed. Jen and Buffy, Thank you for always being so patient with my paperwork, answering my endless questions, and being so helpful with the overall Miss Massachusetts experience. To the Miss Massachusetts class of 2010, all of you young ladies are 21 of the most amazing women I have ever met. I only wish the best for each of you in the future. Lauren Rabanowitz, congratulations on all your amazing accomplishments. I have no doubt that you will represent the state of Massachusetts with grace and elegance at Miss America. Ashley Hebert, thank you for being the best roommate a sister queen could ask for. You are so determined to make a difference in the lives of others and your passion is contagious. To the Taunton, Middleborough, West Bridgewater and Bridgewater Fire Departments, thank you for always welcoming me to participate in your Fill the Boot fundraisers fire safety awareness days, and fire prevention weeks in your school districts. My platform would not have been nearly as successful without your support. To the state and public officials in the city of Taunton, in particular, Mayor Charles Crowley, Mark Pacheco, Dave Potier, James Fagan, Steve Canessa, and Patricia Haddad. Thank you for always including me in the many events this wonderful city has to offer. The Miss Taunting organization is so fortunate to have your support. Val and Sue Amaral, thank you for all your love and support throughout my quest to the crown. I will never forget the bargain shopping trips and all those tips you have taught me throughout the years. Mike and Maria Bostic, thank you for always being so welcoming and inviting while I shared appearances with your daughter. Please know that your kindness and encouragement did not go unnoticed throughout my reign. Brianna Bostic and Amanda Kelly, my year as Miss Taunton would not have been the same without you two. Some of my favorite appearances were the ones I got to share with both of you. I am so fortunate for your friendship and expect the Lornettes to start their reunion tour as soon as possible. Melissa and Brian Donnelly, Thank you for always taking time out of your busy schedules to let me practice my talent in your living room. Your encouragement and constructive criticism, yes, even you, Brian, prepared me to defy gravity on the stage. To the Miss Taunton Committee, particularly Lisa, Jean, Joyce, 
Carol, Karen, Shirley, and Brian. Thank you for assisting me as I embarked on such an amazing journey as Miss Taunton 2010. I have waited so long to be a part of this wonderful organization, and as I reflect upon this last year, your continual support and encouraging words has welcomed me with open arms. Christine Christensen Desjardins. First of all, thank you for always being so patient with me as I attempted to learn the opening number choreography each year. Fortunately, dancing is not my talent. I am so grateful for the hours you dedicated to teaching me how to correctly walk in high heels. I took the stage at Miss Massachusetts with confidence and poise. Darcy Fisher, thank you for always reminding me to stay positive and to keep trying. I can't thank you enough for all the interview prep leading up to Miss Massachusetts. My binder filled with newspaper clippings was my best friend before interview. To my incredible business managers, Pam Reed and Vicki Casey, first of all, thank you for never saying no to any of my 80 plus appearances. I'm sure when I was crowned last November, you never would have imagined such a busy year. Whether it was chaperoning an appearance, writing press releases, attending dress fittings, mock interviewing, or even just the birthday cards I received in the mail, I will never forget the impact you two have had, not only on my year as Miss Taunton, but on my life. Donna Brzezinski, the moment they announced my name as Miss Taunton 2010, I knew the next year of my life would be one I would never forget. Words can't explain how grateful I am for your dedication not only to me, but to this organization as a whole. Your commitment, love, and encouragement made me into the best Miss Taunton I could be, and I was able to represent the city of Taunton with confidence, poise, intellect, and most importantly, in the correct shoe size. To the Golder family, thank you for all your support throughout the many appearances and pageants you have attended, and Alyssa, Thank you for being the prettiest Mayflower princess I could ask for. I love being able to share the Miss Massachusetts stage with you. To Grandpa, Geppy, Joanne, and all my aunts, uncles, and cousins, thank you for always encouraging my dreams, even if that meant listening to countless show tunes at family parties, attending too many musicals to count, and of course, sitting through the many pageants I have competed in. I love you all. Emily, Molly, Kate, Laurie, Jen, Rob, Mike, Andy, and Jess. How can I thank you enough for being the best fan club a girl could ask for? Whether it was waving glow sticks, decorating signs and t-shirts, and even wearing pins with my face on them, each of you never thought twice about supporting me. I am so blessed to be surrounded by such amazing friends. I love you. Maureen Whalen. I can't thank you enough for your continual advice, insight, encouragement, chauffeuring, listening ear, and most importantly, your love. My year as Miss Taunton would not have been the same without you. I love you. Lorna, I would never have dreamed about half the things I have accomplished in the last year without you. You have been such a source of inspiration in my life, and I am so fortunate to consider you not only my mentor, but my friend. You always say it takes a village to raise a crown, and I stand on this stage today as proof. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Jesse and Danny, where do I start? I know it was probably not always easy to live with Miss Taunton for the last year, and although I sometimes would only answer to Miss Taunton or refuse to let you borrow my official Miss Taunton embroidered Snuggie, thank you for always keeping me grounded. Jesse, Thank you for being my official parade driver. You have really mastered the appropriate parade speed and I will make sure to forward your contact information over to Miss Taunton 2011. Danny, I don't think anyone has heard me sing the national anthem as many times as you have. And if it weren't for the 30 plus recordings you patiently assisted me with, I would never have had the opportunity to sing at the Pawtucket Red Sox. You are the best sisters a Miss Taunton could ask for. I love you. Mom, thank you for dedicating so much of this last year to my reign as Miss Taunton. You always knew where to find the perfect appearance outfit, made time for important appearances and receptions throughout my reign, and without you, I may have not found the perfect talent dress and evening gown for Miss Massachusetts. 
Thank you for always making sure I was eating healthy, sleeping enough, staying positive, and enjoying every minute of this amazing year. I love you. Jeff, this last year has been just as hectic for you as it has for me. Whether I needed a chaperone, photographer, bodyguard, and even crown box carrier, you never thought twice. I am so fortunate and blessed to have found such a selfless, understanding, patient boyfriend who always puts me first. Thank you for dedicating a year of your life to my dream of being Miss Taunton. I would not have wanted to share this experience with anyone else. I love you. Dad, I thought a lot about the perfect thing I wanted to say. And as I reflected not only on this last year, but on my pageant career as a whole, I was speechless. You have been my rock throughout this entire process, and I am so lucky to have you as my dad. Not many fathers I know would spend their weekends volunteering with local organizations, photographing every appearance, driving in parades, and how can I forget all the pageant orientations and receptions you have attended. I can't thank you enough. I love you. And as this roller coaster ride I boarded a mere 12 months ago is coming to an end, I feel it has not lasted long enough. And although I am dismayed that I will soon be asked to unbuckle and leave my seat, I will forever remember this ride. To Miss Taunton 2011, I challenge you to take your turn on this remarkable ride. Take your seat and hold on tight, for after that first big drop, your life will be changed forever.